luckily for you, the education you have received at Princeton, an education that we rightfully claim does not prepare you for one job, but for many jobs, puts you in remarkably good stead in an uncertain time. The skills and traits that we strive to instill in you, critical thinking and writing, a finely tuned moral compass, a disciplined work ethic, a commitment to excellence in whatever you choose to do, compassion for those left privileged, and a devotion to service will serve you well, whatever comes next. For everything we leave behind, there is much that we take with us as we walk through Fitzrandolph Gate. The first, and perhaps the most important, is our ability and our willingness to ask questions. What we don't ask, we'll never know. Good answers are preceded by good questions, and sometimes conceiving the right questions is harder than arriving at the right answers. I would like to introduce each of the award winners individually. President Tillman, I have the honor to present Professor Smith. The seniors with whom I've worked actually seem to have a sense of cautious optimism. Um, these are students who are incredibly bright, uh, they have excellent research skills, and they have a really uh, profound sense of the importance of giving back. Uh, they're people who, to whom much has been given and they are therefore um, aware of the fact that much is expected of them. And it seems to me that they are taking that uh, sense of uh, responsibility, uh, kind of entrepreneurial um, spirit and using that to equip themselves as they leave Princeton. And I think that is a really uh, wonderful and encouraging sign for what life outside of Princeton will hold for them. President Tillman, I have the honor to present Professor Malik. So I've been very impressed by the willingness of our students to learn, even if this means stepping out of their comfort zones. I've had a classics major in my engineering course, research battery technology. I've had a professional concert violinist uh, who, who takes a lab course on chip making technology and understanding how this is going to change in the future. So what I hope we've been able to do in, our, in their four short years here is, is train our students on um, the, the process of learning because this is something that's going to be with them forever through the rest of their lives. I hope they feel emboldened, our graduates who are getting out today feel emboldened by these skills and go out and get into other areas, get into new areas, because this is something that they'll really need to do as the world inevitably changes around them. I have the honor to present Professor Dunier. If you can develop the capacity for genuine empathy and also be able to admit when you're wrong, then you and other people around you will be much happier. I have the honor to present Professor Glob. Yeah, my piece of advice for graduating, graduating students is to not get success and greatness confused. Um, Princeton students are always, for the most part, successful. Uh, that's that's okay. That's pretty much um, uh, an easy goal to set. We need you to aspire to greatness, to really uh, set your eyes on fundamentally transforming uh, the world. Um, it's in your hands, and so uh, dare to step up to the task. Your farewell from this university need not be permanent. In fact, one of the great supporters of international students at Princeton, Shelby M.C. Davis, likes to say that life is lived in thirds. Learn, earn, and return. And I agree with Mr. Davis, but I hope, I hope that the thirds of our life are not mutually exclusive. And so, as you walk, skip, or run through the Fitzrandolph gates today, as educated citizens of this and many other nations, I hope you take from this place a sense of purpose that is drawn from an understanding of the major challenges of our day 
and a lifelong search for meaning. My warmest wishes go forward with you all.